going to visit Oslo Steakhouse. It's, uh, this should be pretty interesting, actually. Uh, it's in Grand Mercy Towers. We're not in New York, we're in San Francisco. Oh, hey! <laughs> I guess I go in here, I go in there. Uh, I guess I go in here. Right. They go to Steakhouse that way? The Steakhouse. Uh, yeah, yeah, but it's close to you. Uh, not for me, it isn't. Aha, uh -huh. <laughs> uh -huh. it's here. Wow, look at this. Oh. Right. Really? And so, gentlemen, introduce yourself. Jim Wagner, director hey. of operations with uh, with the Oso Steakhouse, the Stinking Rose Group of Restaurants. Uh, Dante Serafini, uh, owner, uh, director of operations, and uh, Rock on tour. Uh, rock and sounds tour, good. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Introduce yourself. Come on, uh, tour. No, my name is JC. I'm the head bartender here at Oso Steakhouse. All right, excellent, excellent. And uh, folks, this is a top 100 steakhouse, right? No, top, the, top our, 10. Top 10. Yeah, top our, 10. Uh, Wait a minute. Steakhouse. Cut, cut off my head. Wait, my, my, this, sorry. The steakhouse like we opened prior to Oso's was Bobo Quivari's. Uh, known as Bobo's, and uh, we were uh, rated in the USA Today one of the top ten steakhouses in the United States, along with uh, Delmonico's and uh, uh, Wolf, Wolfgang Cut, uh, Peter Luger's, and uh, um, wow, real, yeah, real good company. And That's so we your top ten. You're top better 10. than Maestro's, Beverly Hills. Yeah, but although I mean, we wow. like I mean, Maestro's, just, they have some nice yes, things. But yeah. this is our steak, the Bonin Filet, is. Uh, uh, believed by many people to be the best steak you can eat and uh, believed by us to be that best steak you can eat and we brought that steak here to also up in Knob Hill and uh, we, uh, we claim that it's as good as any steak you'll ever eat and uh, we'll, we'd love to be tested. And you're going to add to that? Well, I was going to say that also with the flavor of San Francisco bringing the Dungeness crab and the skillets primarily a local wine list so you have something that's unique to San Francisco. Not only the best steaks in the country, we're literally in, in that category, but also very, very localized by keeping keeping that to San Francisco's class. But I, got, I love this, look at this decor. This is a beautiful place. I mean, just panning around here. Uh, this, is, this is lovely. I mean, what is the inspiration for the design of this? Uh, Jerry and his wife, Jennifer Del Bozo, um, uh, were the inspiration for this. Uh, 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 retro and uh, kind of a great Gatsby. Yeah, look, yeah. Which is, which is uh, perfect because the movie is out, is out right? Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, that's that right. That wasn't intentional, yeah. but I mean, it, it, it's great timing and it gives you a feel for the for the place. We're on Knob Hill, we're across the street from Grace Cathedral, we're uh, right in front of the cable car tracks, we're at the Fairmont Hotel, the Mark Hopkins. Uh, the Huntington Hotel and uh, just uh, rich with uh, San Francisco tradition and uh, this is hey. the best. And let's find out from the head bar mixologist here, what is your specialty drink, sir? Well, our specialty cocktail is the also good Manhattan. It's made with a maker's mark, a sweet vermouth, a little hint of the farnet, and it's garnished with a orange peel and some cherry brandies. Uh, right. Let's serve up. Hey, can glass. I have a cocktail now? You can yes. have that one. Oh, this was, this was yeah, this looks great. Thank you. This is a, this is a Manhattan. Yes. Wow, and my favorite. This is a uh, folks. This is a uh, wow. <laughs> it's very good. Damn great. <laughs> wow. <laughs> hey, thank you very much. You're so wow. welcome. Thank, thank, you thank you very you. much. Great having you. Yeah, thank you. All right, folks, we are with JC, not Jay Z. Not Jay Z. JC. JC. And you're gonna make a Manhattan? We're gonna make the also good Manhattan. It's made with a Maker's Mark. Mm -hmm. For two ounces of a Maker's Mark bourbon whiskey. And then we're gonna go with a Martini Rossi sweet vermouth. Mm. We're gonna pour one ounce. And then we're gonna go with our Farnet. Instead of bitters, we put a little bit of Farnet. So that's half an ounce. Half an ounce for that. Yes. There we go. And then we're going to get a martini glass. And then we're going to garnish it with a, a orange peel. 
gonna get all the sets in there. Boom. Then we're gonna get some uh, cherry brand brandy cherries in there. And some ice. And for a little miniature martini shaker. <laughs> this is the way we serve it to our customers. Ah, just like so. No. And then we're just gonna stir. Okay. We don't need the spoon. Mm -hmm. We just stir it and it stirs by itself. So you just stir it just a little bit, kind of get a little shake, right? Like yeah, that. yeah. So as you can see it's stirring as it goes. Okay. Look at that, 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 look at that. Ah. Yeah. Awesome. That's what you get. You are the man. Thank you. Thank you very much. Right. Oh boy. Folks, this, hold on a second. No, no, no the test. Ah. Oh very boy, smooth. it's like, uh, very this smooth. is, this is really great folks, it really is. The best. Thank you, sir. There you go. Thank you. you. Got it. Thank All you. Right. <laughs> Folks, introduce yourself. My name is Juan Carlos Becerra. Executive chef. Executive chef for the company. Introduce your friend. And this is uh, Luis Carlos, the executive chef for this unit. Awesome. And we are making, what are we making here? Uh, 16 ounces bonin filet mignon. Oh my God. Is this going to be for me? Yes, you're going to have to eat it all. Uh, I will. I promise you that. Okay. I promise you that. What's your secret? You're the head chef for one of the top 10 restaurants, steak restaurants in the United States. What's your secret? I just try to do the best we can all the time, you know, keep consistency. Yeah. Consistency is a, is a big thing in the restaurant business. Yeah. Do you want to add something to that? Yeah. Um, the secret is the rosemary and garlic. That's the yeah. most secret they have for the sauce. So we're gonna, we're gonna watch this happen. And then folks, you're gonna watch me eat it because I promised him I'm gonna finish the whole thing, right? Yeah. Yes, yeah, you gonna, will. Well, you're gonna put me to work here, right? Yes, you will. <laughs> In about 10 minutes, you'll be sitting down here. <laughs> nice. <laughs> so, what's the secret to a great steak? The secret of this steak is that the way we cook it. We cook it in a cast iron skillet mm -hmm. where all the juices in the own, you know, apart from the steak, it stays in the same skillet. And we decided to make our own sauce. Once if you cook it in a in a grill, all the juices and the fat from the meat, it will drip down into the fire and, and you lose all the flavor. Mm -hmm. This way all the flavor stays in the same skillet here. Flat pan. It's a flat cast iron. It's good. It takes a little while to get yeah. to, to get hot, but once it's get hot, it stays hot for a long time. That's what, that way you can control temperature much better than than grill when you have hot cold spots and all of that. You know. Yeah. It's making a salad. at work. <laughs> Thank you. Wow. Look at that. Look at 
that we got the, uh, sorry. <laughs> a couple of Lorenas. And we got the sound. Wow. That looks great. Look at that. Healthy, too. It's all about health, you know? It's all about health. How high heat is that? Uh, this is one of the things that, you know, we usually fix our stoves that no matter what, they always cook at the same temperature. You know? Because we want to make sure that it cooks properly and it's very rational. You know, the tendency of a cook is to put it at a high heat so you burn the outside, but the inside is going to be raw. You know? Yeah. So that way we fix it that no matter what, this is the highest it will go. I would say it's a medium heat. Medium. Okay. And that's yeah. the highest it will go. But on this side of the stove, you know, when you roast regular stuff, right, you know, we get a big flame here. But right. those, ones, those ones are fixed to that medium heat. That way, no matter what, they don't crash. Ah, yeah. Comes out nice and even. Nice and even and crusty on the outside, but it's still going to be medium red. Yeah, that looks great. Look at that. Oh. And folks, look at that. And I'm with two of the loveliest women in San Francisco. And first of all, Introduce yourself, Jen. I'm Jennifer Del Bozo. And Beth Schnitzer. And Jennifer, I am so overwhelmed by the quality of this steak at this top 10 restaurant and the chefs back there. This is amazing. But talk about the decor of this place that looks like it's from the Great Gatsby. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Um, it's Art Deco, and we wanted to have an intimate yet masculine steakhouse, and that's how the Art Deco evolved. Um, I've always wanted to do an Art Deco design, which can be a bit challenging, but fortunately it all came together. The space just was a really good fit for it. So we were lucky it worked out. And Beth, say something about the decor. I, I just like. absolutely love it. My favorite is um, the whole uh, loungy uh, feeling at the bar, which is amazing. You can eat there at the bar, but it's just, you, you, you feel like royalty because of the Art Deco feel, but in a very casual way. And the other thing that I absolutely love are the cabanas that are there, which are so private. They you know what they remind phenomenal. me of? Remember, remember, Citizen, remember Citizen Kane, the movie? Yes. That? that yes. reminds me. It reminds me of Citizen Kane. Oh, yes. really? You know? Yeah. Yes. He had the cabanas and the, the scene there. That's what that reminds me of, you know? It's something else, yeah. I'm but sorry. I think, you know, there are just so many areas that are so private. So even though you're in a, a, a wonderfully, you know, public restaurant, you know, from those beautiful swivel leather chairs to this fantastic, you know, small little um, booth, it's just, it, it, it just makes you feel very special. Okay, enough formalities. Let's talk. What's your favorite drink? My favorite drink is the basil martini. Oh, oh. I just was having those on Friday night. So we meant to come in on Saturday, but um, I couldn't. <laughs> I had to take a little rest after having a few of those. <laughs> and our uh, favorite meal. I mean, look at this steak. My God, these these guys are gonna kill me if I don't finish. They, they want me to eat. They want me to eat this entire steak. <laughs> I I'm love the steak, but I can't eat that much meat for myself, so I go with the petite, but mm -hmm. it's I, oh, I can eat it like two or three times a week if I want to because it's the perfect amount. And it's the same really rich steak flavor, but just being a, a female, I don't think I have that desire for meat like men do. Hmm. At any rate, I, I was thinking <laughs> of a certain athlete that I knew, so that's why I thought like that. Yeah. <laughs> And I've had the petite filet, and it is spectacular. It is so great. Like Jennifer said, there's, there's no fat. It's, it's light. It's exquisite. It's just, it's absolutely perfect. And it's just enough. And then all the wonderful sides, are amazing. I have, mm -hmm. the Brussels sprouts Brussels are my favorite. Sprouts, yeah. <laughs> Although we did see somebody eating, um, a, a female recently eating the bone. <laughs> so oh, <I> did. <laughs> oh, really? No, so, thinking about these. Yeah, you know, like... it's, it's fine if you want to have the. Filet, the bone-in filet if you're a woman, too. Yeah. Anything goes. Now, I, I know of a certain former member of the U.S. swim team who would clean out one of these. That's why I say that. I'm not going to mention the name. I'm going to get in real trouble, but it's, you know, at any rate. Beth, what's your favorite meal? You said the petite. You're, but, uh, I, I love the petite, and then I had the Dungeness crab. You know, t to me, like, steakhouse is sort of surf and turf, so mm -hmm. I like to have a little bit of the petite and a little bit of the Dungeness crab. 
and it's so spectacular and the way it comes out just sizzling on the plate it's just fun and I'm from the East Coast I love crab but the West Coast crab is just amazing with Dungeness. Wow. Hey, can we do a favor and just sort of get up for a second? I and just because I want you to walk around with me and show me this place. You okay, know, sure. and we'll talk. We'll come back. This is sure, waiting. You know, sure. I'm going to eat it regardless. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, folks, you got to see this place. Leave the way. Look okay. at these. Well, Let's so see. those are the private cabanas, like we already Over mentioned. Over here. Uh huh. Yeah. And then this would be our main dining room. That's the enclosed kitchen. That's where we were. But uh -huh. that gives you the energy so you can see what's happening. Mm -hmm. There's always a show. I like these. You know, I like, look at this. I like this glass. I like the way this is, uh, this is, uh, light comes out of it, you know, on the well, bottom there, right there. This it's is really cool. Art Deco, most definitely. And you can tell by the sconces that gives it that, that true, um, ambiance of the art deco 1930s 1940s now, do you get bonus of people who are dressed in vintage clothing Design. or anything well i think you know it's one of those styles in my opinion that is classic right. and it will last forever so you can come in here and either dressed up or you can you can be casual and still feel comfortable yeah yeah um but you should do that I'm talking about. If somebody comes in in vintage, like 1920s suits and everything, like give them a discount or something. Well, that's, it's an, that's idea. an idea. It's Definitely. an idea. It's an idea. Okay, you know. I'll keep that one in yeah, mind. Yeah, cool. Yeah. <laughs> so this, when you walk in, this is actually, you know, the, this is where you would enter into the restaurant. Mm -hmm. Right here. This is where we greet you, and then this is our bar area. He makes the, he makes the best Manhattans. I, I know this. He's very good, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. He's one of the top bartenders in San Francisco, I would say. Yeah, I quite agree. But what I liked about the, the dining room, we wanted to keep the, the booths private, but at the same time, see, personally, I love the people watch. Mm -hmm. So you still feel like you're part of the scene, but yet you're in your own private area so you can talk and have conversation and feel like you're in your own world, yeah. having your own experience. And then this is our lounge, so we offer a bar menu in addition to our full menu, but you can order anything um, in, the, in the bar. If you want to dine in the bar, you're more than welcome to, or if you just want to grab something light, you can, you can um, select off our bar menu as well. Oh. Wow, well, look at people watching from here. Great, great people Fabulous. watching. Yeah, I quite agree. See the wow. entire dining room wow. and the bar. And this place spot down here, this is nice. This looks, this is really cool. This is our lounge, but it's tied into the bar, so mm -hmm. this is all open seating, and that's where we keep some of our fine wines. I think we have wow. a, we have a rather, not too extensive, but it's a rather extensive wine list sure. for us. I think we offer about 300 bottles of, um, on our wine list. But this is a nice place to bring a date and sit down or you're, so, you know. Oh, sure. It's very there. intimate yeah. and, and yeah. discreet. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, that's what you I said it. I didn't. <laughs> now my imagination is right. That's what I like, though. I like the lighting. It lends itself to, like, you're still. Yeah. I love privacy. When I come to a place, I want to be able to enjoy the person I'm with right. and have a conversation. That's my company, you know, not necessarily the whole environment, just m my little piece of it. Yeah. And can we route this room back yes, here? Yes, this, um, this is our banquet room. Wow. So we can fit up to 60 people in this room um, in, in its entirety, but we also use this for large parties. It has so a little for view. For example, too. yes, if you came in here. Wow. If you had a large party of maybe 12 or mm -hmm. um, 14 or even 10, you know, even 8, you could sit in here and then we could just draw these curtains and you'd have your own private dining area. With wow. With the view of San Francisco. And hey, look at this. Look, look at this view, folks. Look at this view. Look at this. You've got the skyline and trees and everything it's nice this is really nice imagine at night you can see oh, all, the, be beautiful. all the lights in the city yeah wow but yet you have this so you can still feel like you're part of the restaurant because <laughs> you see through the window you can oh see i see out there right 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 to the bar area right Oh, back to the table, shall we? Well, we're very proud of this ah, bar as this well, because this was something that we built out. Um, the back bar and the top of it was designed this um, is something. specifically to fit the style of the restaurant.
So say, show me the cabana area. So oh. I mentioned Citizen Kane. Right yeah. this way, please. Cool. Uh -huh. So this would be our cabana area. Uh -huh which is private dining for all of our celebrities that come in. Oh, wow. Actually, Tim Allen came in a really? couple weeks ago. He was oh, the first one. Wow. So, um, but yes, these are available for anyone that would prefer to have them. Hmm. Let me ask you a question. Yes. If um, a celebrity or his or her publicist is watching this yes. and their person is going to be in town, how should they contact you to make sure they get you know, one of these areas. You know, it would how does be best work? to talk to Myron Potter, who okay. is our manager, and he can easily make the arrangement for Myron them. Potter. Exactly. And you can reach Myron Potter through the Oslo Steakhouse website? Yes, through the website and also through the phone number. That would be the best way to and contact And give him the number on screen. What is that? Uh... Offhand, um, I... Our website is www.ososteakhouse.com. And that's where the number is. Perfect. Exactly. Yeah, we got it. All right, cool. <laughs> Let's go back. <laughs> okay, folks, I'm finally going to eat this. Thank you so very much. Oh, my pleasure. Thank, thank you. you for thank coming. You. Thank you. <laughs> and, um, hey, guys, thank you. I ate the whole steak. I I'm did it. I'm going to check the plate now. Okay? Oh, okay. I'm, I'm running. I did. I swear. I swear. High five. Thank you. Thank man. you. You got it. Okay. <laughs>